Hey, it's me, Old Bag Lady. Today, I have numb lips because I am getting um, a lip blushing done, and I'm going very natural, and I'm hoping that maybe at the end, it'll look a little bit more, um, maybe full, and just, just a little bit of color for days when I don't wanna do anything. So, I'll let you know after this is done. Hey, guys, I just got finished, and it looks really good. My swelling isn't bad. Um, at all, actually, and the color's not crazy. This is a blush, not a lipstick, so it's not going to be as um, as bright or dark. Now, it will lighten over the next couple of days, and I will check back in um, as we continue. I think it's going to get chapped a little bit in the next couple of days, and it'll start to peel off and start to lighten, and I am at Emerald Studios, and I'm really happy with my results. See you soon. Hey guys, I'm back. It's almost midnight. I should be getting to bed. But first, I just wanted to give you an update. So, whatever swelling was there seems to have gone down. Um, the color is actually lighter than I expected. I don't look scary, and I thought I would. Um, I'm not peeling yet. I am putting the lip balm on when needed, but she said let it air out a little bit in between. I've done things pretty much as, as normal. They do feel just a little chapped, but nothing more than that. Um, I'm excited to see what color they turn out. I think this color here is actually very pretty, but um, they will end up being a more natural color. Uh, she's already checked on me once, so I tell you what, um, Emerald is absolutely the place to go if you live here in Kentucky, Central Kentucky, and are near Georgetown. Um, she's um, right there with Lush Aesthetics, which is my favorite beauty place to go. So, um, so I highly recommend her and she did a great job and I just have no complaints. I mean, she, she, you know, look, looked at my line and had me look at my line and to make sure that everything was the way that I would want it to look. And, and, and she just considered my feelings the whole way around, you know, she numbed my lips and, um, and everything went really smooth and, you know, it, it may be stung just a little bit right here in the middle for some reason. And, um, you know, but I was able to communicate that with her just pointing and, um, and she put a little numbing cream on there and she eased all my fears. I almost didn't come today because I was so afraid. And then after I got there, I thought, gosh, what's the big deal? This is, this is pretty awesome. So, um, so I'll let you know how the next couple of days go and, um, and then I'll show you my final results. Thank you. Hey, I just wanted to check in one more time. This is two days post my lip blush procedure and my lips um, are still very pink. They're a little more pink than I want them to be, but apparently that will flake off as the skin kind of flakes off, but it has not started flaking yet, um, at least not, not to my eyes. So I've been moisturizing about six times a day, um, cleaning my lips after every, every meal and just kind of waiting to find out what my color is. For me and my fair skin tone, I feel like this is way too pink. So I am looking forward to it dying down a little bit. Um, it's not that it's an ugly color, it's just not the color for me. Like I kind of liked my old color better than this. And um, while I've got you on here, I did want to tell you since I am old bag lady, <laughs> that I have discovered something that is magical, magical. And um, this is Peter Thomas Roth, the Instant Firm Eye Cream. And um, as you know, I have bags under my eyes and this side is a little bit more pronounced. So I use just a minimal amount of this as recommended by my friend. And it literally will tighten everything up in a matter of like seconds really. It's just one of the most amazing products I've ever seen. Um, nothing takes away my bags altogether, but um, to me, this is pretty, about as good as it gets. As you can see, it's already starting to, to get better. But back to my lips, they're a little bit, a little bit dry finally, which I, I, I see as a good sign because I think that means it might start flaking a little. Um, I do see the beginning of a film which I think the film is supposed to be, you know, when the skin comes kind of dies off and, um, and is replaced. So, um, so I will let you know, hopefully the next time that I see you, things will start ghosting, um, 
with the color of my lips, um, which is what is supposed to happen for the next week or so. And, and then eventually I'll start getting my actual color. And I will update you when it happens. Hey guys, I just wanted to give you a final update on my lip blush procedure. Um, I can go back and do a follow-up. I probably will just to make sure that it's everything that she wants it to be. For me, it is everything that I want it to be. I feel like my lips are slightly fuller, which makes me feel like they're more like they were when I was young. Um, if she does anything, I guess maybe she could redo that line a little bit, but I do definitely don't want them any darker. Um, I think they look very natural. And what's really cool is like, I'm wearing pink today. So they match the pink, but if you saw me in orange, you would say, oh, they have a peachy undertone. So it's, um, I'm very happy with the results. I think she did a, a perfect job really. And, um, and I would highly recommend her. So remember that's Emerald Studios, which is in the same building as Lush in Georgetown, Kentucky. And uh, I think you'll like what you do if you try it. Uh, I definitely do. I'm very happy.